So they're going to line up for the field goal. So and this kick it. means everything. Chris Callahan. 45 yarder. It's going to be about a minute. Under minute 10 to go. This will be a 43 yarder for Callahan from the right hash mark. It's blocked. blocked. The Spartans He's block got it. it. It's scooped up by the nice Spartans. Block. On the run, R.J. Williamson down the right sideline and out of bounds near midfield. That sideline's going wild. The Spartans get it blocked. Marcus Rush. Wow. Marcus Rush, I believe, is the guy who made that play. Great penetration surge through the middle of that offensive line of the Baylor Bear field goal unit. And you're right, George. That looks like Marcus Rush is who was leading the rush there, no pun intended, blocks the kick. R.J. Williamson's off to the races, out of bounds. Michigan State ball on the Baylor 45. Davis and Marcus Rush were both there. Hey, it's a great play by the green and white. Outstanding play. Baylor almost gave up a touchdown on the play. Spartans first and 10 at the 45. Connor Cook with time. He's got Mumphrey. Mumphrey with a jump catch inside the 30. Keith Mumphrey tackled at the 27-yard line by Ryan Reed. No timeouts, fourth and 10 at the Baylor 27-yard line. K.J. Smith injured, comes out. Javante McKee replaces him on the D-line for Baylor. Connor Cook by himself in the Spartan shotgun. Fourth and ball game. Throws left side. Tony Lippett with the catch. And out of bounds at the 10-yard line. First down, Spartans with 33 seconds to play. Even better there. Tony Lippett running a nice little fade route there. Short hands. Big 10's. Receiver of the year, Tony Lippett, out of bounds. Michigan State, first and goal. So the Spartans are now looking at third and goal at the Baylor 10. The Baylor Bears hanging on for dear life. The Spartans trying to squeeze out one more score and a Cotton Bowl win. That's right. Two plays there. Connor Cook has had an open receiver two times. He's a little too juiced himself overthrowing his receiver. Needs to settle down, calm down his heart rate a little bit, take some deep breaths, and do what he's born to do in clutch moments like this. He has Jeremy Lankford to his left in the shotgun. The snap. Connor throws into the end zone. Caught by Keith Mumphrey. Touchdown, MSU. 17 seconds to play. A strike. Connor Cook to Keith Mumphrey for the touchdown. That's what he did. Connor Cook in the shotgun there. Five wide receivers, if I'm not mistaken. Keith Mumphrey, who's been nothing but clutch his whole career, coming up big in the fourth quarter at the Cotton Bowl here. And now the all-important PAT. Never a bigger one. Not a great snap, but the put down's good, and the kick is up, and it's good. It's good with 17 seconds to play. The Spartans have come back to lead Baylor by one. 42 to 41. 45 yards in 48 seconds. Seven plays, seven passes, and the strike to Keith Mumphrey, Mr. Clutch, the fifth-year senior from Vienna, Georgia. Here, Michigan State needs to keep him out of field goal range, too. It's not, you don't, you don't want to play the, the deep, two deep quarters coverage here. You want to make sure that you play the ball, put pressure on Petty. Don't give up the big play at all. Lippitt and Trey Waynes are at the corners. Bryce Petty at the controls for Baylor. Petty under siege, and he's sacked. 
Lawrence, Lawrence Thomas drags down. Bryce Petty gets the sack. Second down and 16 for Baylor at its 19. Bryce Petty takes the snap. Bryce Petty being rushed. He's sacked. Down he goes again. Bryce Petty sacked by the Spartans again. Marcus Rush. Third and 23 for Bryce Petty. Steps back inside his five. Throws over the middle. It's intercepted. It's intercepted by Riley Bulla. It's all over. The Spartans get a pick on Petty from Riley Bulla to finish off the Bears in the the Cotton Bowl. There's two seconds to play. But let me tell you, folks, this This football game is over. Absolutely, George. It's the best play in football, though, George. (laughs) Take a knee and take a win at the Cotton Bowl. The Spartans rally for a huge victory over the Baylor Bears. Their fourth straight bowl win. And that was an exciting one there, George. Everybody, all the talk about the Big Ten isn't good enough, and Baylor should have been in the uh, college football playoffs. I think Michigan State made a case of themselves as well.